Welcome to ICRP's video series uh, of the lectures. Uh, uh, now we have uh, Ms. Har Harwin Shago. Uh, she's, a uh, she's a scientific director of uh, uh, Kotela Janos University. Uh, my first question uh, uh, would be to you is that can you briefly uh, summarize your presentation mm -hmm. uh, which you were doing on well-being in the European Union? Mm -hmm. okay. You know, uh, in case of politics, uh, it's very important to understand uh, uh, what is the social progress uh, and what kind of uh, prospects uh, uh, are for people uh, who are living in the European Union. And the uh, title of my presentation is uh, uh, well-being for borderless Europe, and uh, uh, you know that uh, from the uh, Stiglitz uh, uh, report, uh, it's a key question in politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was interesting for me uh, to look after uh, what is in EU documents, uh, what is in different uh, 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 lobby groups uh, and uh, uh, are there any real uh, prospects for well-being or it's only uh, uh, buzzwords? Thank you. Uh, my second question will be that uh, you mentioned uh, about different measures on well-being. So, so what do you think how well-being can be defined or understood in terms of uh, European Union, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, yeah, like for know. example, you mentioned about uh, different narratives of uh -huh. different leaders, like Angela uh -huh. Merkel. She said uh -huh. we must learn new ways to define the, the concept of G mm -hmm. GDP in 21st century. It means that economic understanding mm -hmm. or economic, uh, 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 like emphasis is to em emphasize to get more economic development. Mm -hmm. I mean, like they, mm -hmm. she said that no, we have to de redefine the values. So what do you uh, actually? Mm -hmm. See you know that uh, in case of well-being, uh, there are three uh, uh, approaches. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, which uh, understand the well-being as uh, uh, a new social program for uh, social progress. Mm -hmm. The second uh, uh, model is uh, uh, an economic uh, approach, which is uh, uh, connected uh, to uh, approach of uh, Angela Merkel or uh, Mr. Schark, the uh, former Prime Minister or President of French. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the main uh, narrative in case of uh, well-being. Uh, the question is, uh, in nowadays, that the knowledge economy uh, has a uh, 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 special uh, aspects of or not and uh, uh, I think that because of the GDP uh, hasn't grown uh, we have to find uh, some other uh, uh, other aspects uh, uh, which we can say to the people that uh, uh, oh GDP is a bad uh, that indicator has bad indicators mm -hmm. But we have to find uh, uh, new aspects uh, for measuring uh, 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 the uh, results uh, uh, which politics uh, has uh, had objectives. Uh, and it will be very uh, important for the governments uh, to show the people that they had uh, rich results. Uh, it means that uh, GDP actually is not reflecting yes, the yes, actual yes. well-being of the people. It's just uh, accumulate accumulation yes, of the uh, economy of the country. Uh, in 2007, year, the uh, Deutsche Bank uh, uh, made a uh, research uh, concerning uh, uh, progress in GDP. And it became clear that the GDP in case of European Union countries uh, hasn't grown. And uh, so uh, this Deutsche Bank report uh, offered uh, uh, for politicians and the statisticians uh, uh, to measure uh, other aspects of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, quality of life as uh, aspects of uh, politics, uh, uh, aspects of democracy, aspects of uh, uh, 
satisfaction, satisfaction with jobs and life prospects and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in 2000 year, uh, the great uh, uh, fiscal uh, depression uh, was coming and uh, it became clear for politicians mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have to start a new uh, narrative. Uh, Stiglitz uh, was uh, uh, the former vice president of the World Bank and uh, uh, the programs of the World Bank in case of Latin America has failed and uh, caused a lot of tensions mm -hmm. and uh, so I think that uh, he, uh, as a uh, 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 representative of the uh, public uh, world intellectuals, mm -hmm. has to find uh, a new model, a new program. And uh, Mr. Shark, he was before the elections also, and it was very important for him uh, to find uh, a new uh, election uh, mm -hmm. dialogue, campaign, narrative campaign. campaign, campaign, for campaign. Yeah. And um, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, different uh, uh, pressure groups in, in different countries, uh, yeah. like uh, uh, this uh, uh, well-being group in Canada or England, the uh, New Economic Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, has a, a lot of uh, programs and projects. And uh, uh, so uh, they have a, a great influence on Mr. Camaro, mm -hmm. who also decided mm -hmm. uh, to start a new campaign uh, for uh, uh, Prime Ministry uh, mm -hmm. by this speech. But at the EU level, it's only a program for uh, statistics, mm -hmm. and uh, there were two uh, measures uh, uh, concerning uh, uh, social progress in case of EU and uh, it's uh, very uh, very uh, difficult uh, to think that it's a good measure or not measure. So nowadays uh, the UN also accepted a new program for well-being mm -hmm. and uh, the OECD also decided um, uh, uh, to give a normative model for measuring mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. I think uh, it will be the canon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mentioned in your presentation about uh, the welfare system and the well-being. So mm -hmm. what are the key differences between two and uh, how states, for example, if you mm -hmm. apply this model mm -hmm. to any one European country, then how would you like uh, I mean, see You this? know that uh, uh, the well-being, the uh, welfare system is uh, the best uh, system for the people. And uh, it was uh, realized in uh, well-developed countries. And uh, uh, the programs for uh, uh, international uh, development were connected also with uh, some developments, but uh, uh, they failed. And uh, those countries uh, which were uh, given uh, a lot of uh, uh, aids uh, uh, couldn't get out uh, uh, from the poverty. Uh, the second question is uh, concerning uh, the, uh, the state system, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there are very weak states mm -hmm. in uh, de uh, developing world, or a lot of failed states also, and uh, it is uh, difficult uh, to maintain these uh, uh, eight programs uh, for the future because uh, uh, there are very uh, large groups in poverty in uh, developed countries. Uh, when uh, Cameron started this uh, project measuring well-being, uh, mm -hmm. it was after the London riots uh, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in uh, uh, 2020 year and uh, it was a, a problem for him uh, why he didn't think about that it can be break out and we have to measure uh, mm -hmm. when we will be uh, a group in in a state of uh, 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 riots or so on and I think uh, it's the uh, most important question uh, to understand in what kind of states are the different uh, uh, national migrant groups in a country. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the measurement of uh, the local 
satisfaction of these uh, people uh, is very important for the local politics. Mm -hmm. And the second, uh, that uh, uh, we uh, have no enough money uh, for development, so we have to find a, a new model uh, which uh, is uh, not uh, uh, a social uh, program, mm -hmm. but it is a basic uh, program for everyday life uh, to have basic needs, uh, uh, peace, uh, uh, local economic uh, mm -hmm. uh, conditions, mm -hmm. and uh, mainly the accent is placed uh, on, on education and mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, and you mentioned in your presentation about uh, a document, well-being document of 2030, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the uh, citizens, you know, well-being of citizens were centered, is a central point there. So, I mean, it seems to me is a, like a bringing back uh, the socialist socialist idea. No. Or, or no. for example, I mean, what what about the free market then? I mean, uh, how, what do you think about the, the capitalists? What they will think about the, this idea? Uh -huh. Because uh, there there will be uh, many interests uh, which will be compromised, and uh, people or those who are interconnected with the free market cannot easily give up their interest. What do you think? How do you you know, this? the welfare regime is uh, uh, about uh, the social uh, programs uh, and the social services. Uh, uh, the well-being program is about the welfare program. And uh, to educate people in so manner that they can uh, uh, they can develop uh, their own uh, potentials uh, uh, for well-being. Uh, the first is a collective program mm -hmm. for the state, mm -hmm. the second is an individual, individual program and, um, and the accent uh, has placed on individuals who have to find their education, mm -hmm. their entrepreneurial capacity, mm -hmm. uh, their capacity uh, for uh, uh, for strengthening skills and so on. I think it's not a social program. It's uh, 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 it looks like. It looks. <laughs> that, that's what I was actually very curious to uh -huh. you know, know about the difference. You know, there is a there is indeed a difference. Okay. Uh, my last question would be that how would you uh, like uh, how would you see the, uh, by organizing that kind of conferences as Institute for Culture and Nation Policy has organized to bring the awareness. I mean, what would you say? Oh, I think it, it was a very excellent conference uh, and uh, uh, the organizers uh, could uh, uh, bring together a lot of uh, uh, very exciting uh, 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 things, uh, questions and uh, I think that uh, the uh, uh, presentators, uh, uh, speakers were very excellent, I think, uh, so uh, it's a very uh, really situation when at the conference uh, 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 two uh, personalities as uh, Mr. Shoplin or uh, Mr. Balash uh, can uh, say a speech uh, or uh, read a lecture and we can hear uh, important persons uh, uh, as uh, ambassadors uh, and I think uh, it's a very, very good program. Okay. And I saw that there are a lot of young people <laughs> who are interested in these things and uh, uh, I think that uh, it's a, a very important uh, uh, project uh, for us to uh, to involve uh, uh, to uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, discussions the young uh, the PhD Indian. generation. <laughs> Thank you so much for your kind interview and uh, your nice uh, talk actually. And uh, we are looking forward to, to our next event. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much.